What is up guys, thanks for checking out the video. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about a logo that I'm gonna make 3D into kind of like one of those light up kind of lamps. Um, I'll be showing you my process because it's basically this guy contacted me through Facebook. He wanted me to make this logo 3D for his racing team and uh, I'll be showing you my steps. So let me switch over here. So this is the logo that we're starting with. It's the High Side Hustlers Motorsports. Um, I'm gonna actually pull up a program. It's called It's Litho. It's kind of like a lithophane generator. Um, and you can upload an image. So we've got, I go to, so if I upload the logo here, and you can edit, see if that's how you want it to turn out. You can up the contrast or Lower the contrast, let's do it back at zero. Um, you can play around with some of these different parameters here. Bump the exposure up. Oh, no way. I want this to be as crisp and as clean as possible. So, blur I actually want to take down. Um, you can also play around with like black and white. Let's see. Maybe it looked a little better before. Averaging. This one may actually be the one that I want. Um, let's go back to the luminance. So this will make it kind of 3D with the life of fan generator. Um, I'm gonna take off the frame. Maybe I want a border. Let's see. Yeah, I can keep the border on there. Because I'm thinking that I'm gonna build up this, uh, let me get it in view here. Basically, I'm gonna be building up around from the back. I'll make a little box so I can put LED tape plates behind there and uh, fill it out. But I think I want to play around with these with the quality a little bit. I think it might just be taking a little bit to load here. Starting to look pretty crisp now. File size would be getting pretty big though, so I'm just if I could play around here and get a, find a happy medium between the two. This is starting to look pretty good. This one's turning out. Um, so then you just want to go to download, and you can download the different uh, attributes. I'm gonna download basically just everything. You can also donate too. Um, I have donated to them before just because I like to use this website and it's totally free. Okay, so then that's going to download, and I'm going to pull it up in Rhino so I can generate a little frame and then backing for it. Let's 
second to load. change that with the minimum or maximum thickness. I'm going to just bump that up. Bump it up to see what it looks like. Yeah. Maybe seven. a little sharper. It's looking pretty good. Basically, you're going to shoot the lighting behind and it's going to illuminate the front. So then you're going to see the logo there. And I'm going to create a uh, frame that goes around the back here. So I'm actually going to flip this over. So now I've got the frame, and I'm just going to move this down. I'm basically just doing this so I can create my own frame. The idea here is that in the back you can 
replace the lights or I may actually create a back two with little pegs that you can attach it right into. Maybe I'll do that. So now that I've got the pegs figured out, I'm going to put a little hole in the back too just so that a cord or something could run through there or could possibly mount into a wall if needed. Um, maybe I'll put that towards the top in case it can, it can double as like a, you can put a hook with like a command strip in there.
Alright, so they have it. I've got the logo on the front, and I've got this like backboard, is what I called it here, with that is gonna peg into the frame here, and then it could basically light up the inside here. And then you could easily put a put your wires or anything through there if you needed, or if you're gonna mount it. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. I'll send it to the client and see what he thinks.